Good morning guys. We are here in one more mobile home that we have just, well, we finished it a few months ago, but we now have closed on it. So I'm gonna do a quick walkthrough. Um, not gonna lie to you guys, this one has been rough. Uh, it's by far our worst project. Um, we uh, bought it in May of 2018. Um, so in case you're counting, that's over a year and a half ago. Uh, it took forever to finish. We ended up running onto a ton more problems, had to fix way more than we thought. But on the bright side, when you fix up so much, um, you really, I mean, this house was almost to studs, so it was like new subfloor, new sheetrock. We, uh, I mean, pretty much everything you see in here is new, which allowed Justine the chance to just go crazy with her designs and really just pick out everything top to bottom uh, that she wanted. Um, we ran on to um, quite a bit outside as well as inside. We ended up replacing probably um, 25 percent of the siding on the entire house we new roof um, the works but uh, it's one of the ones I would say we're probably most proud of it's it's a beautiful home so um, I'm gonna step outside the winds blowing so hopefully the wind won't make the audio too bad but I wanted to show you a couple things outside so let's check it out so this is what we're looking at on the outside we were able to put in uh, this entire deck, built this deck from scratch. We tiled out this interior portion because the when the rain comes in from the side, we didn't want it to um, decay in any way. Um, ended up building this fence. This used to be just uh, one full side. When we bought this property, you couldn't even walk in anywhere in here with all the bull thistles. You can see the remnants on the neighbor's side, all of that was just all the way, you couldn't even, you could barely walk a path right beside the house. So to, to fix that, we um, tore everything out, put down some some killer to kill out the, the weeds. We ended up tilling up the entire lawn and then covering it with topsoil. And then we had um, a company come in and spray some hydro seeding. Uh, if you've ever seen those green hillsides on the side of highways, that's what that is. The, the yard really did come in beautifully for what was here. We're, we're, we're proud of that. We're excited to have that done. So stepping in, you're walking into a pretty massive living room. And uh, what we did here, originally there was a wall that came out right here beside this door and a, and a, um, a bench, or not a bench, a, uh, a shelf, a built-in shelf on the side of the wall. We took all that out. We ended up opening this wide open into uh, a beautiful living room, dining room combination with a new, uh, new light, a new fan. Um, when I first walked this property, this whole floor area was sunken in and collapsing. So we ended up having to redo almost all the subfloors in here as well as the floors. It was, uh, it was just a rough, rough time. Uh, we'll step to the right, uh, which is bedroom number one. Uh, it's also the master bedroom right on the front. Uh, it's a good size bedroom here. Um, uh, it comes into a very nice walk-in closet that wraps all the way around. Even has an entrance back into the uh, bathroom area. So coming back out of the closet, we step into the master bathroom and this thing is brand new top to bottom. We've got the shower, the surround, the vanity, light fixture, uh, even the casing uh, around the windows is brand new. Everything's, the windows are brand new. Justine went a little bold with this light choice. Uh, you'll have to l let us know in the comments below if you like that choice, if it's a little too bold for you, what you think of that. And then the bathroom wraps up around here with, uh, with a few shelves and then the entrance back into the, uh, the nice large master closet. Um, so headed out of here, one, one advantage to this home is that you've got the master on this end, a large living room here, the kitchen we're about to get to, another living room, and the other end of the house is the three bedrooms. This is a four bedroom, 1800 square foot home. And so if you were buying this with kids, you are definitely uh, 
far, far away from the noise that the kids might be making. Uh, so it's, it kind of gives you a little bit of seclusion having the, the master bedroom on this end of the house and every other bedroom on that end. Here we are stepping into the kitchen. Um, we, we really went all out in this kitchen. Uh, originally we were gonna try to s salvage some of it, um, but we end, what we ended up doing was, what we ended up doing was replacing the entire kitchen top to bottom. Uh, this is an Ikea kitchen with some faux granite countertops that are laminate actually. Um, Justine went with a, uh, a gold uh, theme here. So you've got this nice track lighting system in gold, fixtures and handles are all in gold, and then all the appliances are new stainless appliances that, uh, that really make this kitchen pop for being such a small feature in the home, uh, it stands out as a as a a really nice a really nice kitchen for the space. Uh, folds right into this uh, second living room. You could also turn this into the dining room if you wanted to. Uh, I think originally we were planning on that being the dining room, which is why Justine put the um, the chandelier there. Um, in here, uh, on this end, you've got three bedrooms. Uh, all almost identical size, all good size bedrooms for, for what they are. You've got um, all of them have their own closets, um, pretty much three carbon copies. This is the smallest one right here, um, probably maybe a baby room. And then this one is a little bit larger than the other two. Has the, uh, the, the panel in here, but it has its own closet. Stepping out of this bedroom, we walk into the second bathroom, also uh, pretty much gutted from top to bottom. New vanity, new countertop, new tile floor. Uh, actually, in this house, we did a matching mirrors in the master and the smaller bath. Um, but then we got the new shower, shower head, everything's new in there. Um, so this home truly has been touched almost everywhere. Uh, originally when we first bought the home, if, if for, for those of you who have been with us a long time, right here is where we literally found things growing on the inside because there was a leak in the roof that had gone on for so long that um, there was some, some kind of uh, something growing <laughs> in the home. So it's just an incredible transformation. This house has been quite a project. Anyways, this is a nice large bookshelf that uh, is built in that we were able to leave. We um, stepping into stepping into the laundry room. You get an additional large laundry room that um, is good for uh, you know the coat closet and the uh, lots of area. We originally really were wanting to put a nice, beautiful mud room in here with a bench and maybe some shiplap. Uh, but with the, with everything that ended up happening, we had to uh, cut that due to budget. Uh, concerns and then here we have a nice huge pantry that uh, is just off the laundry room and around the corner from the kitchen um, it's uh, just a beautiful area and it seems like this home just goes with space for days got the washer and dryer here we actually built that box from scratch for the air conditioning unit uh, right back behind here we've got our water heater then you come out the other side, there's a nice huge uh, heat pump that we put in along with the shed that was also re-roofed and uh, in the parking area right here. So that's all we're, uh, what we're looking at. You've gotten to see the, the whole house. It's been uh, a project that took us quite a while and um, was full of frustration, but uh, in the end we're happy with this product and feel like we're excited that someone's going to enjoy this home. Thanks for coming along. Feel free to throw, jump in the comments and tell us what we did right, what we did wrong, what we can improve on, uh, all those kind of things. Uh, if you enjoyed uh, seeing what we did, feel free to give, that, give us a thumbs up on that. It really helps us out as we're trying to uh, see if people are interested in uh, what we're doing here and uh, what we can do. We really have appreciated all the support and all the uh, nice comments that everyone has uh, given us so far, uh, and hopefully we'll bring more to you coming up soon. Thanks for thanks for watching, you guys.